for me? This began as a labor of love, and it has become my passion. People of color get sicker when we contract the COVID-19 infection and we're more likely to die. So my research is about finding ways to equip us to fight the infection. This is about our health, this is about our humanity, and this is about saving lives. We must do all that we can to change the dismal COVID-19 numbers for our community, and it begins with you. Our strength lies in our sheer determination, our will, our actions, and our resilience. Because of what I do, I'm always on the go. And sometimes it goes on for weeks and weeks. Although the pandemic has been a time of great uncertainty, anxiety, and tragedy, it has also been, for me, a time of quiet and stillness. There's been a lot of transitioning and decision-making and really figuring out this new way of life. But one of the greatest things that has happened in this time has been watching my children becoming part of the solution. African Americans and other people of color are dying at alarming rates from COVID-19. It's happening all over the United States, from Maine to California, from Washington State to Florida, and all points in between. Recent studies suggest that there may indeed be other medical issues that account for some of the disparities in death rates that we're seeing in patients with COVID-19. We do know that diseases like hypertension, diabetes, obesity, and cardiovascular disease are associated with worse outcomes in COVID-19. Macronutrients are things that we're all familiar with. Those are proteins, fats, carbohydrates. But research shows that certain groups are more likely to have micronutrient deficiencies. The groups often affected are people of color who also happen to have the highest COVID death rates. Recent research from around the world now suggests that vitamin D deficiency may be a risk factor for poor outcomes and death rates in COVID-19. Vitamin D is so important for lung health and your immune health important factors in fighting COVID-19. Numerous studies document significant vitamin D deficiency in people of color in the United States, and we're certainly seeing the same thing in our population here in the United Kingdom. In fact, the death rate from COVID-19 is also higher in this population here in the UK. How do you maintain a healthy immune system? Well, one of the most important things is the mind-body connection. You can't separate the two. It's one organism. The mind and the body need to work well together. This is about our health, our bodies and our minds. It's about helping our bodies fight COVID-19. We must fight COVID-19 like our futures and our lives depend on it, because it does. Hey everybody, it's Jennifer Lewis and I wanted to show up and lend my support to saying to everyone, we've got to stay as healthy as we can right now. You gotta eat as healthy as you can. You gotta exercise whenever you can. DZC, <laughs> DZ and C, DZC. No more vitamin deficiency, DZC.